Now we take you back up the coast. A historic compound with ties to original Chumash settlers in Old Mission Santa Barbara is up for public sale for the first time ever. Tonight, a rare trip behind the gates of this local gem. We're still in our smoke and haze phase, but look at the views. Incredible panoramic views from Mount Calvary Monastery, a historic and sacred property in the heart of Santa Barbara. So right here we sit between the Mission, the Natural History Museum, and the Old Seminary, now Garden Street Academy. It is a one-of-a-kind property, one-of-a-kind location. The parcel sits on nearly five acres off East Los Olivos Street. Two large houses, an outdoor chapel, a meditation room, and garden settings dot the land. And that shingled gazebo is said to be the first and oldest in Santa Barbara. The total asking price is $15 million. Its rich history includes the Hazard family in the late 1800s. The well-known industrialists and philanthropists built the homes still standing today. By 1918, family heirs donated the land below where the Natural History Museum sits today. Real estate agent Ken Switzer says in the late 40s and early 50s, the houses served one fun little use. The two large homes were actually used as sorority houses, rented to the sororities as UCSB was nearby and on the lower Riviera. Then another change of stewardship in the early 1950s, the Anglican Sisters of the Holy Nativity with the Episcopal Church hosted the grounds as St. Mary's Retreat House. In later years, after the tea fire, Mount Calvary Episcopal Benedictine monks controlled and cared for the property. The Episcopal Church remains the current owner. Uh, so it is a true large compound and uh, there is nothing like this anywhere in, in town uh, that I'm aware of that's ever been for sale. Also, it's a very special honor to be able to represent this property. The hope is the historic parcel so many of us pass by each day will remain a spiritual retreat in the heart of the city.